I was scared. I, I pictured it as if it was real. Um, he looked very nervous, serious, um, just very concerning. I'm still emotional. <laughs> Due to our prom season, graduation season, again, while these are wonderful life milestones where we can celebrate with family, friends, and it's extremely exciting, and we want to prevent our young students and new drivers from ever having to be involved in these types of situations. We're having being placed under arrest for felony DUI as well as vehicular manslaughter. Right now at 6, a robbery investigation outside a West Hollywood restaurant. Tonight, the clue detectives are using to catch the criminals. Plus, with pandemic protections expiring for renters, what happens if you get an eviction notice? Our I-team investigates the steps you can take to keep a roof over your head. And a dangerous landslide in Orange County. Tonight, the closure near the Casa Romantica Cultural Center as crews try to contain that cliff collapse. NBC4 News at 6 starts with breaking news. We begin with that breaking news in San Clemente. Good evening again, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. It's a Detectives say it involved two women, a man, and multiple guns, including an assault weapon. NBC Force Ted Chen live with a video of that crime for us. Ted. Carolyn, and this crime has reignited the debate over public safety in West Hollywood and how to handle it. It happened Tuesday night behind this restaurant in an alley, and detectives say the third victim was robbed when he happened upon the robbery of the other two victims. In a crime captured on video, the sheriff's department says a male armed with what appeared to be an assault rifle and two females armed with a handgun robbed three people and hit one of them with a gun as the victims walked in an alley behind La Boheme Restaurant in West Hollywood. We've never had guns in AKA 47s in our town. Business owner Larry Block, who helps run the website WeHoville, which obtained the video, says it shows crime in West Hollywood remains a big problem. Earlier this month, a woman was shot inside of her apartment complex complex near the Target store on Santa Monica Boulevard and La Brea. We had a shooter down there last week. We have a shooter here in Mid-City. The crimes have renewed debate over the effectiveness of West Hollywood security ambassadors, unarmed people who patrol the streets in what the city calls a reimagining of law enforcement with less dependence on sheriff's deputies. We've looked at crime trends and what we've seen is that more deputies uh, doesn't necessarily mean crime is down. West Hollywood Mayor Seppi Shine says after a post pandemic surge, violent crime is down in West Hollywood year to year. The reality is crime is going to happen. There's never going to be a time where we don't have any crime. But we need to make sure is that when it happens, the law enforcement is called out to investigate, and that's what they're doing. Business owners say they would like to see more than the 59 deputies that uh, currently patrol West Hollywood. If you have any information on this particular crime, you're urged to call the West Hollywood Sheriff's Station. Reporting live from West Hollywood, Ted Chen, NBC4 News. Carolyn, back to you. All right, Ted, thank you. And new at 6, L.A. County is reporting its first case of the newest strain from a new Omicron subvariant. This one is known as Arcturus, and symptoms can include pink eye, as well as other symptoms common with COVID-19. Right now, this strain accounts for 8% of COVID cases in California. Health officials say, remember to take precautions, such as wear a mask if you're not feeling well. Well, he changed the game when it came to daytime television, and today we learned Jerry Springer has died. He was the mayor of Cincinnati and a local news anchor before hitting it big on television. His talk show ran for more than 30 years. And we caught up with some fans in Long Beach today who say his legacy will not be forgotten. I mean, he's definitely a reality TV staple. Like, he was reality TV before it really blew up. I think without him, reality TV would probably not be what it is today, honestly. And he was a mixture of a, a comedian. He was a mix of a politician, all that, all wrapped up in the one. And so, yeah, he's going to be a legacy and he'll be missed. Springer died at his home in Chicago. He'd recently been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Jerry Springer was 79 years old.